Hi NYCFC fans, no soul pressman here for Blue York 1, recapping the San Jose game and previewing the Columbus Crew game. So, NYCFC played a late game last week against NY against San Jose, and it was a 0-0 draw, very, like, basic, it wasn't that interesting, but it was an important road point at a challenging game in a challenging place to play, and importantly, they still are in first place. And that puts them into a good set going against Columbus Crew. Now, the Crew are one of the worst teams in the league. But before I talk about the Crew, let me just kind of get back to the San Jose game. Um, David Villa and RJ Allen returned to, um, to play. Obviously, they had yellow card suspensions the last time. Mata was still hurt. He's been out for a while. Hopefully, he'll be back. So, RJ had to play left back. And then um, Jason Hernandez played right back, which is interesting because Diego Martinez played so well when he appeared. You would think that maybe he could um, play left back and then RJ would play right back, but that's not what Veer opted to do. So, I'm hoping that in the next match... If Mata is hurt, I, I'd rather see RJ at right back and uh, Diego Martinez at left back. I think that that would be a great, um, a great combo up and down the flanks. And also, back to uh, the game, um, Maximin Chanut. Uh, he's their new player. They signed their one signing of the transfer window played amazing. He had this one block that saved a goal. It was right right in the six yard block box. Um just amazing. And he even made MLS team of the week. Uh but he did somehow he didn't get man of the match. That went to Saunders who played very well also. He had I think six saves um and one man of the match. So now moving on to Columbus crew. Now the Columbus crew have had a completely polar opposite season between this year and last year. Last year they lost in the championship and to the Portland Timbers. And they were poised to have a great season this year. They they had some great players coming back. Young, they had Kate Kamara, Will Trapp. Um, just a whole huge uh, deep squad. And then this year... They're just not the same. They they have they've been a bad team, which is a shame. They were a fun team to watch, but they ended up trading Kay Kamara to New England, which is a ton from that. But they haven't really used it. I assume they haven't. They haven't used it yet. They weren't really active in this transfer window, and they they just kind of gave up on the season almost. But that doesn't mean NYCFC should take this lightly. They need three points here. It, it's the only the only thing that needs to happen, and I'm confident they can. Um, now the crew have Will Trap. Will Trap is a great player. They also have Ola Kamara, and uh, Connor Casey is back. So in practice, they've been experimenting with a um, with two forwards. So we might see that. Usually they play more of a four two three one. Um, and also they have Ethan Finley, who's a great winger, who has appeared for the U.S. sometimes. And also, don't forget, this window they signed Zach Steffen, who, for those of you who don't know, was a U.S. youth team goalie. And he was going to be the third string um, goalie at Freiburg in the Bundesliga. And he was very homesick, so he decided that when the crew offer came coming, he couldn't turn it down. So he's back. He's the number two. I, I would be love to see maybe him being the number one um, eventually, but I, I, they still have a very solid goalie in Steve Clark. And NYCFC, look, they should have, hopefully Mata will be back. I assume they'll play their normal 4-3-3. Um, Mata, Chanot, and um, Brilliant, and R. Allen in the back. And what is really interesting is last week Jefferson Mina was hurt, but Look to see who plays in the center back partners. This is very, very interesting. Um, Mina has been it has is very streaky. Sometimes they'll have some great moments, and sometimes they'll have some really, really boneheaded plays. So, uh, but also don't forget that um, Brilliant and Shonat actually have played together before 
they were on the same team, so they have some chemistry, and I think they're the they're the better option. But we'll have to see what Vire does, and then obviously the front six will be the same. Maybe uh, Andoni Iroh has been playing so well, but I would love to see Frederick Bravo. Um, but it's just going to be a really interesting game. I think NYCFC should win this, and look David Villa to try and score some more goals. Um, I believe this weekend Giovinco had a hat trick. I know, but I think that put him ahead of David Villa for the Golden Boot. So maybe David Villa will score some more goals and. Um, all the other teams, they're closing in. Toronto, Red Bulls. So NYCFC, CFC have to keep up their excellent road record by... Um, they got to they gotta win. Um, yeah, Columbus is not an easy place to play also. It's a great stadium, a uh, great place to watch. They host a lot of U.S. men's national teams. There's going to be a lot of fans there. But I'm confident that NYCFC can kind of work... Uh, their magic and just keep going. I mean, they, you got Jack Harrison, Tommy McNamara are playing phenomenal. Look to see them to have better games. I think everyone, it's not everyone in, I guess, San Jose Earthquakes had a poor game. It just wasn't as good as normal. And we know NYCFC can play a lot better, and I, it's kind of I, something we take for granted. But um, I think it's important that NYCFC rebound and try and get all three points. Um, this is Noah Silver Pressman signing off for Blue York 1. Have a nice day.